where I've come, like what the journey's been. For me, it's thinking about, you know, family first. So I was raised by three generations of women in my family. It was my mom, my sister, and my grandmother. As I've kind of grown, is that I've taken the best of each of one of them with me kind of along on my journey. I think about that and I think about how did you get from Vanessa in Brooklyn, New York to like Vanessa in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. For me that started with a big change when I was like a really young teen parent. When you are in need of help, especially when you think about what you need for your kids, you start to do the homework. So that's how I got connected to CAP, was really looking for like, okay, the cost of formula and you know additional support around food access is important for young families and for kids. Community Action Partnership of Lancaster County is part of a national network of community action agencies. So there's lots of programming that happens. So CAP's kind of core focus belief is that their purpose in the community is to create prosperity, justice, and equity. I know for me there was a time when I didn't have really the capacity to like voice or fight against or create dialogue around why things needed to change. When we think about our data that talks to us about what the face of poverty looks and feels like, it is usually a single mom. So I think it's really organizations and other people in the community, leaders, neighbors, other organizations, the business sector's responsibility to advocate for change around equity. I started working in two, the early 2000s for CAP as a frontline worker and it was a good experience. So I came back in 2016 as an impact team leader of our household stability team and was really like excited about the work. In 2018, I was promoted to the chief impact officer position, basically the operations person. And then in 2019, our current CEO at the time had an opportunity to go work for the governor's office. So, you know, that position became available. And, you know, I think with the support of our board and our staff, I was able to kind of move into the CEO role. The work that I could do at CAP is what I consider legacy work. I will be able to, like, look back and think about how I help support change and equity and things that matter to people in their everyday lives. And for me, that was like the big win. It was this experience of like, wow, yeah, first woman. As an Afro, you know, Latinx person, that's a big deal for me personally to feel like I gotta represent, I gotta do it right. And I've gotta keep the door open, way open for the folks who are coming behind me, right? So that that door doesn't close. And to approach things in a very authentic way that represents who I am as a woman, as a leader. I bring all of my whole self into the opportunity. So yeah, it's been, I think, a significant deal organizationally because it helps people you know, get clear about there's no opportunity that can't be yours.